All right, y'all, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Moody Star, back again with another video. So, of course, this video is not going to be too long. We're just hollering at you guys like it's a FaceTime. Now, uh, I know last night I didn't do a nightcap, but I've been working like there's no tomorrow for the past uh, like week and a half with the whole job change situation and just me, you know, just trying to stay proactive and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, with that being said, I, I basically had a moment with God last night, bro. Um, cause I was getting ready to do my video, um, after I was done. Um, you know what? I didn't even dash, bro. Like I, I legitimately, uh, you know, I just did some shopping and then I just hung out. I just chilled. You feel me? I spoke to, I got a chance to, you know, catch up with family members and stuff. By the way, my father is doing a whole lot better. You feel me? Um, I don't know if we, if I told you guys that, but uh, he was uh, he was he wasn't he wasn't in a great condition at first. I didn't know how serious it was, but you know, God is continuing to move, so you know that's the most important thing. And I'm just glad that like you know he's he's gonna he's gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, honestly, in this video, bro, again, this is just a sr update bro i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't have no notes ready for y'all today um you know this is uh just off the dome and um yeah i feel like i done talked about everything there is when it when it comes to being on seymour attention and you know maintaining a high streak or starting a new one um just whatever situation you guys are in uh you know i don't know i feel like i spoke on everything but um just to update in my life and my journey bro uh i realized a couple of things and then also again today i don't have any notes and stuff ready for y'all but i got my notes i got my notes but um i probably drop another video i'll probably drop a nightcap later on tonight because my day is gonna be super busy you feel me but uh yeah bro um one thing that I realized is that as you're kind of like going through the journey and stuff like that, there would be moments in time where it just seems like shit ain't really popping. Shit ain't really going down like how it needs to go. Um, and that's okay. And the reason why it's okay is because, you know, you're giving yourself time to grow and to just, you know what I'm saying, be in your life force energy, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to, learn how to use that to be creative and, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is right now for me, it feels like the calm before the storm. And I think I made a video similar to this before when I talked about how, like, you know, you're doing everything that you need to do. You're eating right. You're uh, working out. Um, you know, you're meditating. You're talking to God. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're maintaining your streak. Um once you're doing once you have everything checked off on the list bro it's like what else is there to really talk about or you feel me explain you know what i'm saying i've been dropping three four damn near three videos a day bro of just like you know certain things that i researched or just talking about certain things that i'm going through you know when it comes to dealing with my life force energy and then dealing with the female attraction and then just dealing with different types of females bro the only thing that I can say, because again, this is like the calm before the storm, and I hope you guys are paying attention to what you guys got going on in your life, bro. Um, it's about to get real, real surgical, bro. And I know I, I said this before, but I, I mean, I have to remind you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, I am, uh, so many things are changing and stuff like that. And, you know, as you guys see, you could tell like my schedule is just like not where it is was so i'm still like readjusting to everything there everything uh you know that is like as god is about to usher this new reality into my life um today's saturday right so i officially start my next gig on tuesday and uh you know i'm just staying patient bro this is literally the calm before the storm bro by the end of what it is it is June 22nd right now, or yeah, it's June 22nd right now, bro. 
I guarantee you by July, the, I, like there's a, there's, there's going to be a female that's going to be popping up. You know what I'm saying? In your life, in my life. And this shit is going to be crazy as hell, bro. Like, because cause I, I just understand patterns and cycles, bro. And, you know, I think uh, what's what makes the journey that much more uh, enjoyable and greater is when, uh, you know, sometimes, like, as a guy, you, like, you'll go through a rough patch of, like, dang, like, bro, I ain't, I ain't have... I ain't talked to a female in a minute. Dang, I ain't I ain't smashed nothing in a minute. Da 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 X Y Z, right? Um, it's okay to have that space, bro. I don't know if you guys understand how powerful that is spiritually, but you're actually cleansing yourself out. Spiritually, you are cleansing yourself every day. When you are to yourself and you're managing your energy the right type of way, the right type of vibration, bro. You're always in the right type of vibration, bro. You are actually cleansing yourself. You feel me? So while you're cleansing your spirit, being to yourself, yes, sometimes it may feel a little damn boring. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Um, you know, I and I and for me is for the the thing for me is that I just I try my best to again always try to live into the uh, live in the now, uh, enjoy every experience, and even when the boring life, uh, the boring moments in life happen, bro, like enjoy that bro because again at one point in time your life is probably going to be at a standstill and you're going to have to just sit it out you're going to have to wait it out until this storm blows over and that's okay that it's okay to be to be in that type of uh that energy where you just gotta like you know just chill you feel me like it's cool so what's going to happen is this after the okay, you haven't been getting no females, no female attention. Da, da da da. Watch when you start getting that much more active in the matrix, bro. You you won't even have time for yourself. I guarantee you, you won't even you barely have time for yourself, bro. So it's like enjoy the moments when you have the peace, the harmony within yourself. Enjoy these times now. Cause I guarantee you right now, there's a dude right now who been working, who probably did the same thing that we doing. You know, what I'm saying went into monk mode. You know, practice retention, uh, self improvement, eating healthy, things of that nature. Cut off everybody in his phone, turned himself up. You know, what I'm saying got got to where he needed to get to. Now he has the job, the income, he has the house, he has the kingdom. Literally, gets to gets accumulates everything, and then boom. All of a sudden, like, okay, cool. Like, now he can actually enjoy the finer things in life. Not just the female attraction, but everything else that comes with you raise him raising his vibration. Like, he had to, at some point in time, if a guy wants to level up, that's what we have to do. We And also, too, when we wake up in the morning, bro, every day doesn't technically have to be exciting. It's okay to have, like, a regular-ass day, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, again, because you're preparing yourself and preparing your energy, you will actually have days where it's going to be a lot of things happening. A million, a million and one people are going to be hitting you up all at once. You know what I'm saying? Um, for some reason, that ex from the past, she going to hit you up. For some reason, she going to feel that life force energy. Because again, if you've been beating her shit in and, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, not to, not to sound so, you know, you know, out there like that. But if y'all had some type of sexual relation and, uh, you know what I'm saying, something happened where things wasn't working out because, you know, probably you got tired of, like, paying to, you know, make shit happen. She probably may have, like, moved on and, you know, probably slept with, you know, whoever, right? Which, again, she's free to do that. I, I guarantee you the best type of, quote-unquote, revenge Literally, it's just turning yourself up, bro. Literally, it's just increasing your vibrations. Now, in that process, again, it may be a little like, man, you know, I, shit, I did this already. I raised my frequency. I raised my vibration today, shit. I went outside. I watched the sun again. Like, damn, I got to do... You know what I'm saying? Of course, yes, while you're doing the process, again, somebody might be like, they might be 
they might be used to drinking like a lot of juice all the time but now that now that they done changed their life or they're you know they're trying to change their self you know they start drinking water and when you first drink water at first after drinking juice for so many years bro water is like boring as hell it's like what the fuck like the hell like it's just water but over time you start to appreciate that water you actually start to appreciate the taste and everything it's kind of, that's pretty much kind of kind of like what it is bro i know sometimes people be like yeah, bro, I never practiced similar attention because it's like, bro, I'm not finna sit here and like, uh, you know, uh, you know, hold myself back or if I need to, if I need to, uh, release or express myself, that's what I'm going to do or whatnot. See, the thing is you just have to understand your energy, understand what works for you. Again, some people don't believe in going 60 days. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't believe in going a hundred days. You know what I'm saying? Some people believe that like, oh, it's a it's a health risk, so I only do 30 days at a time. You feel me? At the end of the day, do what's best for you, but just don't get like discouraged or don't like, you know, because again, what the mind will do, the mind will try to trick you and be like, well, you done conquered everything on this level. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you're better than your past. But like, it's kind of, in a way, like again, uh, like we are not our thoughts so sometimes our thoughts will try to trick us out of our spot our same thoughts will try to th trick us out, out of our spot and then all of a sudden now we get to that point of like flatlining you know what i'm saying we get to that point of like oh, okay man it's been it's been 30 it's been 60 days bro i don't know and it, it's part of the journey bro but like at the end of the day listen to your body um and uh make sure to that like you do you really do find some peace with just being to yourself being by yourself like this is the longest time since i since i started consistently posting bro this is the longest time that i've gone without dealing with any type of female i mean this is the longest time bro i'm talking about like i Let's say I briefly was talking to one chick earlier this year. That shit is a fucking dub. Um, you know, I got love for her, but that shit's a fucking dub. And and the, and the thing about it too is that this is a this is a random question, but why is it so hard? Like you know, when you talking to a female, especially if you're just like in the talking stage or whatnot, or you know whatever, um, why is it so hard for a female to admit when she's talking to another dude? Yeah, I like, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, me, I will go on monk mode and I will cut everybody off of my phone. Or mentally, I just, like, you know, whatever, like, unpin everybody. Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, my shit is on do not disturb. I mentally cut people off, right? And I be having, a, like, I had, like, a few females that, you know, liked me or whatnot. And I liked them as well. I found them attractive as well. And, uh, I noticed, and this is this is what I'm saying, bro. You can you'll be able to read energy, bro. Like you'll be able to peep energy. You can tell when shit is different. But like, I had like two types. Uh, I had two females, right? Uh, and I wasn't talking to them at the same time. This is like a different time period, so whatnot. We was talking. I seen what it was. Like this one particular young lady. She was like, yeah, we friends and such, you know, we friends and stuff like that. That's how we're going to start off to be or whatnot. But with that whole situation for me, I had a, I had a, hey, remember what I said in my video yesterday? Talk about like whatever you do when you think and then whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Energy you put towards something like this, always a cost to it. There was a cost to deal with homegirl. And it was crazy because we was, she was saying that we was friends but she started to talk to me as as if we were in a full-blown relationship. And then she actually started to talk to me as if she, I was her baby father. Now, I didn't appreciate that energy. And I think she, you know, kind of came on like too strong with that whole, oh, you, I, I just don't like when women try to play. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm venting right now. But I just don't like when a woman tries to play a psychologist on you. And like, they don't even understand like, okay. I get that. I know you're trying to help me and stuff like that, but I need you to have that same mirror with yourself as well. You feel me? Like try. I mean, again, you can tell me about my flaws and stuff, but my, but my nigga, you talking about, 
the situation that you in, uh, you know, single mom taking taking care of her kids by herself and stuff like that. Uh, you know, that's that for me, that's not a favorable favorable situation to be in anyway. But anyway, whatever. Uh, what ended up happening was I ended up going into monk mode, and to her, she was like, "Oh, like, what's up? We're not lack of communication. You're deflecting. You're not. You don't want to talk about this." No, my nigga, it's not that I'm deflecting, okay? It's the fact that I already know our energies are not going to align, and plus, I want to better myself, you feel me? I need to find some type of peace within myself, you feel me? So, um, and then when you try to tell them that, they're, they, you know, they always have something to say, like, oh, well, it's not that. I think that you're just deflecting, and you need to recognize your feelings, and blah, blah, blah. Whatever, bro. I recognize my feelings every single day, Okay. So what ended up happening was I went into monk mode, but I still did kind of like, I had like a liking for her. Like whenever we text each other or we called each other, it was like, all right, pick up right where we left off. Like, yeah, we are obviously attracted to each other. Um, and it probably, probably could have been something uh, there with that situation if handled the right way. But I, I already knew, I, 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 not nine times I, Nine times out of ten, I don't even like really waste my time or energy when I know this shit's not gonna work, right? So what ended up happening was we just ended up going back to talking cordially. I ended up talking to another young lady, and you know it was phenomenal. We spoke every day. We was on Facetime. We'll be on the phone for hours. Um, you know whatever, right? Boom. I thought. I honestly thought that, like, okay, this is the next young lady that I'm going to, you know, intertwine with, and hopefully this this would be the last. Life happens. She's going through her drama and situation in her life. Um, so we ended up, stop, like, we basically stopped talking. Pretty much, I want to say a month after, like, we, you know, abruptly stopped talking and everything, and I was, um, I think this was like after I decided to restart my streak over. I was like, you know what? Boom, I'm going to start my streak over or whatnot. I am going to go back into, you know, just monk mode or whatnot. And I'm just, I'm, and I'm just going to be at it. I'm going to uh, be persistent in being committed to the journey and stuff. And, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Getting back to myself without getting distracted by a relationship that's really wasn't serving me no purpose. Um, bro, what ended up happening, some time passed, and I ended up hitting up both females, you know what I'm saying, just for, just, you know, just to have, like, you know, hey, you know, just checking up on, you know, checking up on them type shit, because, you know, they have moments in time where they will always hit me up from time to time, hey, how's your mental health, and blah, 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 you feel me, so I was returning uh, that type of energy, and bro, I, I just, women are funny, bro, because it's like, again, if you disappear for at least a month, bro, trust and believe, she's damn, like, you disappear for a month, she's damn near about to get married, okay? The next time you probably hit her up, your ex, she, she's probably married right now. She probably has a nigga right now already. The same thing happened with both females. The first one that I mentioned earlier, she's, de she's talking to somebody now, um, and everything is going good with her. And everything and i she actually mentioned it to me uh recently and i'm like okay that's what's up that's cool you feel me and then the other female she's talking to somebody else too like and then how she tried to make it seem she was like oh you know i kind of like this person but i don't bitch you like the nigga dog it's okay it's okay bro it's okay you see what i'm saying so it's like for me, it it really didn't it really don't bother me, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. I just understand at the end of the day, bro. You gotta do what's best for you, your mental health, your peace. Um, don't waste your time or energy on something just because you know she looks attractive or just because she makes you feel good here and there, bro. At the end of the day, dog. Um, if you can't properly. Number one, if you can't properly take care of yourself, you have no business trying to talk to any type of female. I don't even go hold you. Because that's what it is, bro. Women, they look to men 
for protection and provision. That's the main thing. Protection, provision, um, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature and stuff. So it's like, for me, I guess I'm in that quote-unquote dry spell, which is really not a dry spell at all, bro. Like, if anything, this is God protecting me. You feel me? Sometimes the, the, the journey can get crazy. It can get overwhelming with the female attraction. And then sometimes it could, it could go like, you won't be dealing with nothing for like two, three months, but that's okay though. You know what I'm saying? It's all a part of the journey at the end of the day, bro. You have to maintain, um, you know, having a high vibration and trust and believe, bro. The more happy you become by yourself, it'll, it'll be the more easier to connect with somebody when, you know, the time is right. You feel me? But for right now in my life, it's just, it's a calm. This is the calm before the storm. I'm actively not talking to no females at all. And this is crazy. It's actually kind of mind boggling to me because by now I at least would have had a, a girlfriend that, not not really a girlfriend. I would be in a situation and she would want to be my girl, but I probably would have hit her with the like, I got to get to know you first. And then she probably would start treating me like her boyfriend. And that's exactly what the fuck be happening, bro. They just, they don't even ask to be with you. They just be like, okay, we together. They start doing relationship type shit. So, you know, at the end of the day, bro, just continue the journey. Uh, you know, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, you know, I spoke on so many topics when it comes to practicing retention. And uh, of course, like I got some more. I definitely got some more, um, uh, you know, I got some more situations basically that I want to discuss past situations, situations as well. But, uh, for today, you know, um, I, again, I didn't, I didn't grab my notes for this one. I just wanted to chop it up with you guys and just like, let you know, keep it a hundred, like what, what, uh, what's going on in, in my life and this shit. Like, like, listen, the SR journey, it's always exciting and stuff like that for me in my mind. But I would be lying if I said it never got, like, boring and it never got, like, okay, all right, doing this again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just keeping it in a beam, bro. You know, as humans, we like variety, you feel me? If we keep doing one thing over and over again, we're going to get tired of doing it, you know what I'm saying? If you watched all of my videos, if you kept on watching my videos over and over again all day, you would have got tired of my voice. You would have got tired of MGT, what it do, your boy, when you start... And SR Life, and y'all would have got tired of that shit, you feel me? That's how I know, like, I, I recognize how people don't watch my videos, but they watch it when they need to watch it, you know what I'm saying? On divine timing, so that's all that matters at the end of the day. I don't even make these videos to go viral, bro. I don't care. Um, the information that I talk about anyway, I feel like a lot of people should know about, but, you know, it is what it is, but... Outside of that, bro, MG2 with a douche, your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways-ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout-out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational here at MGT. This is what we do. We work in ourselves every single day. All right, y'all. That's it for right now. Um... That's crazy. How I feel right now is like, I don't feel, I don't feel like down or sad or anything. And I also don't feel like too happy or anything like that. Like I'm just right in the middle of just, just chilling, just cooling, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is the calm before the storm. Um, Make sure you guys <laughs> stay aware because when things get too quiet, you know, it's like leaving a dog in the in, in the room or some shit. Like when they get a little bit too quiet, they probably getting into something that they're not supposed to. So, you know, I'm just staying on my P's and Q's. There's gonna be a lot of bro, when I say you retaining your energy, bro, you're not just doing it just because you wanna kill time. Like I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be magnetized and you're gonna have a lot of attraction. A lot of attraction. A lot of people gonna be in your face. I'm telling you. Enjoy the moments by yourself because you're gonna get sick and tired of this new energy that you are attracting trust and believe like i i just had a, a vision of it just now and i'm like 
Oh, okay, yeah, I remember how crazy it could be. You know what? Yeah, nah, I'm a chill. Like I'm just gonna be. I'm a. I'm a vibe. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a just bask in my peace because. And then that, another thing too, when you become solid within yourself, bro, like you trust and believe, bro. Like the very second a female pushes you over a certain way and it pass and it pushes pushes you past the point of like you not being in a peaceful vibration, you're going to cut that shit off instantly, bro. Trust and believe. So, yeah, bro, I got more for y'all in, uh, in the tuck. So, if you made it to the end of this video, bro, you the GOAT. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the love and everything. I appreciate all the new subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing y'all thug dizzle. Continue the high street. Continue the journey. Join, join us on a journey, you feel me, if you're new to the channel and if you're new to this thing we call semen retention it'll change your life um you may have to go on monk mode and uh, i'm not gonna lie bro even after coming off of monk mode and everything and then you start experiencing the female attraction and getting sexually active and stuff again you're gonna enjoy it. see that's the thing i'm not gonna tell y'all what happens after you've been retaining your energy for a while and then you return back into doing that stuff i think you will be more cognizant of how you do it who you do it with and of course you're gonna realize your performance level is gonna be uh through the roof it really will so yeah with that being said i'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video make sure you like share comment down below drop it back on the cash app definitely see you guys on the next video bro peace